excited to be here today with you and to share with Mary Vaughan our common vision on entrepreneurship for a sustainable future. So Central Supelec and AgroParisTech share an ambition and a vision supported by complementarities. First, both schools train engineers capable of addressing environmental and societal issues with complementary skills. Second, adding our research units, we cover the main scientific fields addressing the main challenges for sustainable future. Third, when life sciences engineers and generalist engineers work together, they cross-breed points of view and competencies. And I would add a, a fourth point, the complementarities of support devices and experimentation fields for the benefit of entrepreneurs. By gathering our expertise and networks, we set the foundations of a fruitful collaboration for entrepreneurs. Now, if we take an overview of our two ecosystems, Central Super Lake represents 4,500 students, 45,000 alumni, and 18 research labs covering various areas such as AI, energy, biotech, industry 4.0. And in the field of entrepreneurship, we support each year more than 100 students and projects and startups from the ideation phase to the scale-up phase. On AgroParisTech side, 3,000 students, 22 research laboratories, 250 faculty members, 25,000 alumni. AgroParisTech jointly coordinates the research laboratories, mainly with the French National Research Institute for Agriculture, Food and Environment, INRAE, and the French Agricultural Research Center for International Development, CIRAD. These research units cover four research areas, agricultural and forestry production, processing agricultural pr products for food and non-food uses, sustainable management of natural resources and the environment, and human health, mainly in the nutrition area. From 2017, AgroParisTech supported 70 startups, including 50 through the InLabs, which are AgroParisTech technological platforms. If we take a look now at our entrepreneurial collaboration, Central Supelec, if we go back in time two years ago, launched the 21st Accelerator, which was dedicated to breakthrough innovation, especially focused on social and environmental impact. They wanted to innovate in three different ways. First, we wanted to connect startups to research labs and to experimentation platform. Second, we wanted also to connect our entrepreneurs to a wide network of alumni. And third, we also wanted to be able to fund the most risky phases, especially for deep tech startups, and that's why we created a fund. Now, if we take a closer look at our innovation areas, we have three main innovation areas, climate and biodiversity. We support entrepreneurs in the development of environmental transition. Health and care, we support startups in the field of health, in the field of better aging, but also in education. And future of business and industry, we support the revitalization of industry towards new areas such as cyber security, data essences, and photonics. If now we go back to our main area of collaboration with AgroPowerTech on climate and biodiversity, we chose one year ago to partner with them, especially on the experimentation side. Okay, so let's now focus on AgroPowerTech in-lab network. An in-lab is an open, thematic, collaborative space 
for Fab Lab and or Living Lab style innovation, where entrepreneurs are offered scientific and technical support. AgroParitech has made the choice of several thematics in labs to be as close as possible to the specialists and the research units. The Food in Lab is the oldest in lab, created six years ago, and linked to the research unit Safe Food. Its, top its topic are alternative proteins, packaging, circular economy, nutrition. It is equipped with an experimental kitchen and a laboratory with analytical instruments for prototyping and testing products. The Forest in Lab in Nancy was created with the University of Lorraine and is linked to the research unit Silva. Its topics are spatial technologies applied to forestry issues, carbon sequestration, and agroforestry. The Farming Lab offers technical and scientific support to innovators in the farming sector. It is located on AgroParitech Experimental Farm in Grignon, not far from here. It enables testing new equipment, such as sensors, or testing products like feed additives, or artificial intelligence applied to crops and animal breeding. It also includes energy from biomass. The Biotech in Lab is hosted in the Industrial Agrobiotechnology Research and Development Unit in Pomac, near Reims, and it covers mainly liquid and solid fermentations, biocatalysis, extraction, and isolation. Through the in labs, Entrepreneurs can benefit from the link with AgroParitech students through students' projects and from our research laboratories in order to accelerate their experimentations and help them to go to the proof of concept. Several research collaborations have been established by the startups in the 21st climate and biodiversity area. Let's develop four examples. Canop is a startup that helps carbon project managers to efficiently measure climate impact and carbon sequestration using artificial intelligence and satellite images. The, the collaboration with the research unit Silva, specialized in the ecology of forests, gives access to IT tools, data, and forestry professional networks. Genomines is a startup developing hyper plants, capturing metals from soils. And they have started a collaboration with the LGPM in order to optimize their downstream process to enable the recovery of metal from biomass. EST is a startup that recovers yeast from the breweries in order to produce high protein superfoods. It started a collaboration with Safe Food in Palaiso and in Pomac to optimize drying and fermentation. And GeoWatch Labs, which is a startup developing satellite solutions in order to monitor agricultural season all around the world, developed and started a collaboration with the Sandra Lab in order to enhance the precision of their AI algorithm. So these four collaborations illustrate really the variety of the collaboration between our startups and the laboratories. And all these collaborations were made closely with our national research organization. Now, if we take a look at the third component of our accelerator, which is funding, we are very pleased to announce uh, today the launch of Central Supplex Venture, which is live now, uh, with a focus targeting a deep tech startup, especially in the field of health, in the field of climate, in the field of industry revitalization also, with a final target of 25 million euros and with investment ticket from 100k to 500k. And we're pretty sure that this fund will be a crucial and significant asset for our startups. 
Now, if we look back at 18 months of collaboration between AgroParisTech and Central Supelec in the climate and biodiversity area, here are the key figures. 15 startups supported together by Central Supelec and AgroParisTech. So 15 startups, including 10 deep tech, 30 million euros raised by these startups, and 15 research collaborations. So these are very positive and promising metrics. This partnership creates a community which will strengthen thanks to the opening call for projects. Exactly. We are profiting of uh, Spring Saclay to announce our new call for project. So if you entrepreneurs are, are willing to join our accelerator, are willing to join 21st, please feel free to apply until the 18th of June. The call is open. What are we looking for as entrepreneurs? We are looking for a full-time dedicated team to their project. We are looking at uh, at least an MVP or a commercial proof. And we also um, willing, we are looking for projects willing to have a significant change impact on society. So please free, you can flash the QR code on the screen or you can also go directly to our website to apply. If you feel you're not close to it, if you feel you're just launching a new startup or you just have an idea, we have something prepared for you. We have also prepared a book camp dedicated to climate tech startups. It will be in October. It will be a five-day boot camp in order to accelerate your funding, your strategy, your business model. So you can also apply to this boot camp, which is also in collaboration with AgroPowerTech. And uh, you can also flash the second QR code on the screen if you want to know more and to have more information. So to wrap it up, you have uh, the two QR code. The first one on the left is for 21st, to apply to 21st, and the second on the right is to apply to the boot camp. We were really, really enjoy this presentation, and thank you for your time and attention. I, we are free with Marivon to answer all your questions after the session. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.